Okay, Colonel Kelly, nice job with your thirds. Continue to review them on each string pair. You're okay on C, but you could be better. C's the anomaly. So it's 5, 5, 7, 6, 9, 8, 10, 10, 12, 12. And your new riff is based on that. It starts at 2 and 1. Rhiannon, it goes minor, minor, major, minor, minor, open, and then you land on the G and the D string, which is a fourth, not a third, so it's... Two and one, and you play thirds this on the on the normal group now. Okay, so there's that. That's that riff. Now I want you to focus. Hey, Kevin, come on in, bud. You got to review the relative major and minor. So G major and E minor share all the same seven notes. All that's really different about them is what note you begin on and how you frame the notes. That's called the relative major or relative minor relationship. Um, they have the same key signature. On the piano, they both have a single sharp. So I want you to play a G chord, and then play your G scales. So starting on G, and starting again on the open G. Finish with a chord, and switch to an E minor, the relative minor. That's the sixth degree of a G scale, but now it's a new one. Finishing on E2, and starting again from E2. Okay, for creep you did well. Um, you need work on your C to C minor. That slows your arpeggio down a lot. And with the arpeggio, the first note's long, so it's like long, short, short. Sorry, short, long, short. What am I doing wrong? Long, short. for me and that's it for this week. See ya.